Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of walking away from something that no longer serves you. Uh, but with this energy, it's an, also an energy of walking towards your fulfillment, even if you're not sure of it. There's just this energy of someone choosing to leave something that's not working and moving on to into the unknown with this energy. Um, but there is this energy of um, moving towards something that's better than being here, knowing your worth. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups and this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So you could be dealing with the Leo. And finally, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so again, we're seeing that energy of moving on from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, moving towards your fulfillment, towards something that makes you feel, it's almost like in embracing self-love, choosing yourself, knowing your worth, and being content with being on your own. Um, with the Queen of Cups here, we are seeing someone here who is following their heart. Um, there is this energy of you having poured a lot into a situation. You may have been very nurturing, emotionally available to someone, but something about the situation is like you gave it time with the strength card, you were patient, you were giving, you were tolerant, but it's almost like you didn't really get much in return. There's this energy of feeling like, um, you know, this isn't worth continuing anymore. And with the Queen of Cups, we're seeing someone here who's surrendering the situation. It's almost like you're you're not giving to the situation anymore. Instead, you're choosing yourself. Um, and with the Strength card, it does look like this isn't an easy decision. It's someone who's walking away, but with a heavy heart. But there's this energy of knowing that there's better ahead. So let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, and this is Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. So this is an energy of solitude, spending time with yourself, getting to know yourself deeper. So it does look like some sort of period of healing, but also an, a period of isolation um, or solitude. Uh, but there is something about this energy. It's not lonely. It's it's like you're feeling content or being okay with, uh, with not having to be connected to someone, almost getting comfortable with yourself and getting to know yourself deeper. This is a very knowledge energy with the Hermit. It's an energy of looking within and doing a lot of self-reflection, introspection. So you could be in this phase where you're, you're focused more on self right now. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. So we have the Knight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, we have the Page of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Three of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so it does look like you're, you, there's this shift in focus on your side. Um, however, we do still see someone here pursuing you with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups. Someone is still very attracted to you. They have a lot of desire for you. Um, it's like they want to come towards you, though. And with the Page of Cups, this is definitely someone who's very... Um, 
infatuated by you very physically attracted to you um we are seeing here also an energy of waiting though with the three of wands a patient energy someone who is waiting for you to come out of solitude or they're waiting for an opportunity to approach you with the knight of wands but th there is this recognition that you're currently focusing on yourself and your own journey there's someone here who you've detached from or you've pulled back your energy from them and um they're, they're not ready to let you go but i do see them being patient here with the three of wands but with the knight of wands it's like this person they will reappear in your life they will come towards you again so sooner or later but there is this period where they are taking a pause um but this person is actually thinking about you a lot fantasizing about you a lot this is someone who actually appreciates your nurturing qualities this is somebody who is quite grateful for um the love that you gave the emotions that you expressed it's like this person likes your more feminine qualities um, or the fact that you were emotionally available to them they really did appreciate that but with them showing up as a knight of wands there's still this energy of someone here who's not consistent or someone here who isn't really there's no long-term energy on this person's part but there's still this desire to um to to reignite something with you to come towards you um you know to almost even chase after you with this energy but this is a very small offer from this person with the page of cups this is someone who um you know it's like it's not matching with a queen of cups energy but i do see someone here who is um you know still wanting to come towards you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you scorpio Okay, so the card says a time for healing balsamic moon so this looks like your energy because it does look like you're healing from something spending time on your own and also a lot of growth happening during this healing time so um it does look like you are um choosing healing at this moment okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you scorpio So the card says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So again, we're seeing hermit energy, healing energy. So it does look like a phase where you're focusing more on yourself and doing that introspection. It's like someone here can't really access you at this time. Um, you know, it's like they, they have no choice but to wait or to, you know, be patient with this three of wands energy because it does look like you're not entertaining this person at this time. You may be just more in a self-focused energy and knowing your worth and again, healing. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you um scorpio okay so the card says playfulness Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. So you could be reconnecting with your inner child. There's just this energy of really doing some deep inner work. Um, with the strength card there again, it's like um, really going within, being patient with yourself and healing. And, um, you know, also there's just this energy of connecting with your inner child here. Yeah? But also there's an energy of someone who is wanting you, but is a playful energy. With the Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, something about their energy is immature or or it's just not um you may feel like this person isn't on your level at this time or that this person what they're offering you isn't fitting for you know your energy because we're seeing a very mature energy on your side with the, the hermit and the queen of wands so it does look like you may be walking away from this person um choosing yourself and with the nine of cups we we do see fulfillment coming from this so it's not going to be a lonely time it's more so a time of um self-love and um feeling content with yourself okay so that's what i'm seeing for you scorpio i hope you have a really really good day scorpio bye scorpio